Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I'm actually going to show you one of my new uh, DACs that I've gotten. It uh, Now, I've, it's been a while since I got this in. I don't remember exactly when I bought it, but I, I'm literally I'm opening it up now. I have not had time to check these out. Some of the ones I have, all the ones I have downstairs that I haven't showed you guys, those I've checked out, but these I have not. And this one is by Chuck Penson, who I absolutely love, and it's Providence by the Sea. It was one of the ones that was out of stock, and as soon as it came back in stock, I I was able to get it, and I was really happy that I got it because it's just gorgeous, just beautiful. So anyway, I haven't opened it. I'm going to open it with you guys. I'm going to pan out. I'm probably going to have to really pan out because this is really long. Um, this one is 36 0.6 by 27.6 or 93 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So it's quite a long um, painting, actually. Let me pan out even more. Okay. All right. I opened the top already just so I can get it out for you. Now they're getting rid of their cover minders and they're doing something with new a new covering it's it's perforated or whatever I don't like the idea of that honestly because I use the covering um and I use um release papers underneath it and I just all I keep thinking is that it's gonna rip and I don't like the idea of that I personally don't like the idea of that but I'm not the owner of the company it's not my decision I just don't care for it anyway um, this is, they always have a, a nice sticker that comes with it, and they have their, um, kit, their tool kit. Now, this one is, okay, it's got tweezers, so this one is a square, which I believe all the Chuck Pinsons are squares. Any? No, they're not, because I just did one that wasn't. Anyway, but if it doesn't have tweezers, it's round. If it has tweezers, it's square. Although, honestly, I think... If you could get, if you could get the tweezers, some people even with rounds, you need tweezers sometimes. Anyway, but you don't need them every time. So maybe there should be an option if you, like you don't need 55 tweezers. So that's your tweezer there, which is a really nice tweezer. Very, very sharp. Be really careful. Keep this little thing on it. Okay. They're not the best tweezers. Like I wouldn't use them to like tweeze my eyebrows or anything, but they're good for this kind of thing. All right. So. Here we go. Let's bring it up close and I'll show you guys. We already saw the tweezers. Oh boy. We got some extra baggies. Come on. There's the baggies. We have the, the pen, just a regular pen. We have a cushy that goes on the pen, which is a pain in the butt to get on the pen. We have the uh, tray, um, uh, what do you call it? The wax. I always get that. I always forget. There's two things of wax there. We have two multi-placers. Hold on a second. Let's see. We have two different multi-placers. This one's, I believe, is a four. This one might be like a seven. Come on. Focus, please. Thank you. I wish the camera wasn't this sensitive, honestly. Um, we have the washi tape, which is so pretty. They almost look like... Okay, they are flawed, but I was going to say... that they, I thought they looked like um, tulips, but what they are, I think, is... Um, uh, cherry blossoms and then we have the cute little um, I don't have this one yet so I'm cool with that this is a little shell it's the cover minder and then of course we have the tray with the stopper here which I really like so that's the kit I don't know what the new kits look like because some people are already receiving the ones with the perforated um, Thing. So I don't know if there's other things there or not there. I don't know what they do differently. So, all right. This is going to be big, so I'm definitely going to have to do it like this. Um, where is... Oh, okay. here. There's definitely a difference between the premium canvases and the Timu canvases. The other day I saw it on one of the Timu pages on Facebook where somebody was saying, there's no difference. 100% there is. Cannot tell me there's no difference. Even the nice ones on Timu have, do not have the same quality canvas, okay? There's a reason why we pay the amount we pay, not to mention the drills, okay? 
Um, so for people to say they're the same, they are not the same. They're similar to other premium companies like Dreamer Designs or even Make Market has really good. Those, those even though they're cheap as far as the, the price, they have really good quality canvases. The pictures they have are nice, but they're not, you know, the best pictures I've ever seen. But you know what? If you want to try a nice quality kind of canvas, start with those there, you know. This has 65, wow, 65 uh, colors, two fairy dust colors, and one, two, I think three, or is it four? Let's see, does it even say it? Of course not. Oh, I'm knocking my stuff down here. Um, does it say it on the thing? Because sometimes it'll say it. It just... Because I don't remember if 150 would be... It's under 150. Okay, anything under 150, I believe, is um, AB. So three ABs, two fairy dust. All right, so let's look at this. I just fell in love with colors in this. The colors in this are stunning now this thing is huge let me just pull it over here more i mean chuck penson's work is amazing reminds me a lot of um kincaid um it reminds me a lot of kincaid i love kincaid's work i don't know if they do kincaid at diamond art club honestly um i can't remember his first name now <clears throat> But everyone knew him as a painter of light. He has died. He's been gone for quite a few years. But his work is, I mean, you still see his work all, in all kinds of places. I have some of his prints. My mom has some of his prints. I just love, love the work. But look at this. Isn't this a bit? Now let's bring it in closer. So some of the stuff a little closer. We got a fire here. We have a boat. We have a some sort of seagull. I think it's that would be a seagull. No. What are the ones with a fairly long bill? I don't remember what they're called. Uh, would that be a seagull? No, it's not a seagull. But I can't remember. We got more animals here, more here, more here. With Chuck Pinson, you're always going to find things all over the place. There's a starfish here. And then if you let me just move my coffee out of the way or it's going to wind up on the floor. Okay, um, we have more seagulls here, right here. We have an eagle, looks like, right here. And then, of course, we have the deer, and we have the house. Look how beautiful. I mean, there's only so much I can show you with this thing here because it's so large, and we got the beautiful trees. This is where I have the thing here. Hold on. I can roll it. This thing is huge, though. I mean, this... This was going to take me a while, but I'm going to enjoy every second of it because there's so many colors. It's confetti heavy. Uh, confetti heaven and confetti heavy. I love it. I love that it's got a lighthouse here. Now, it, I do find it weird that there's a log cabin and a lighthouse because I don't consider the ocean to be very log cabin-ish or log, log cabin friendly. But I don't know. It's still gorgeous. It, it doesn't do it doesn't distract at all to me. And then there's this um I think that's a barn. And then we got more animals here. And we got more birds flying in the background there. It's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll bring in the drill field for you guys just, just to look, have a quick look at it. I'll just do it from here. But that's that's very confetti heavy, which I love. <laughs> I, I love it. I section off, I don't know, six by four, but actually I'm going to start sectioning off uh, more like eight by six sections. I like working in slightly bigger sections, and I think it'll be um, like really, really nice to um, work me because I really love working on stuff like that. Now, let me just fix this camera a little bit because I want to try to get a better picture here for the thumbnail. Move this out of the way. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's you got some glare. You know, it is what it is. I can't help the glare. It's just the way the lighting is, even though where I'm at, I mean, where it's, my light is to the side here, my kitchen lighting over my table. But anyway, gorgeous. All right, so let's do, 
Let's do hers. Let's do the colors. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> this thing is huge. Look at these colors. Look at these colors. Look at these gorgeous drills. Now, I think most of these are the new drills that I can see. I hope I do not run into the same problem that I ran into that last picture that I did, um, Merry and Bright, where the, the drills were slightly smaller than the canvas. <clears throat> these look... The new drills are pointy. They made them, like, I don't know how many, 20-something facets or something like that. Um, but they're gorgeous. Now, let's see if we can find... Now, let's see if we can find the special drills. Okay, the problem with Diamond Art Club is they do not put their drills in order. They put them in order of weight, which is weird. I wish they would put them in order because to kid up, Diamond Art Club is a pain. I'm sorry. Love you, Diamond Art Club, but kidding their stuff up, digging and trying to find out where the colors are is a real pain in the butt. All right, so let's see. Let's pull that out a little bit more. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> That's a ton of colors. All right, let's see if we can find. Because these are, okay, so they're here. See, the first three are supposed to be, um, what do you call it, the AB drills, but the, if there's one AB drills in between. All right, so you know what? Let's just do a quick, let's just do a quick of the drills. And you know what? I'm going to turn on the light so you can see how they actually look. Okay, come on, come on, focus please, there we go, pretty pink, this is like a taupey color, now this story I think of this color here, which is, it's showing up yellow, but it's really much more of a tan, it's, it's the light, the way I have the light on it, actually let's flip this around too, oh, it's the same, so it doesn't matter, okay, and then this is the AB, the yellow AB, which I love, a more another taupey color i'm um, sorry tan color it looks yellow but it's not actually let's take this off maybe it'll show the color there we go that's much more what the color looks like same thing with this one that's much more what the color looks like sometimes the thing look works well sometimes it doesn't there's three of the same color here and then we have this um it's peachy it looks yellow but it's not it's peachy it's weird how the camera picks up certain colors while we're in others a different way there's three of this one and then we have dark, well, darker brown, two of those, and three of this color, which is like a dark, a, a lighter brown. Okay, let's see. I wish you would pick these up better. <laughs> I think we do. All right, so because sometimes you wind up with a ton of um, static in these. Although if I blow into it, it usually clears it up. Some people have a really hard time. Gray. So that was green, gray. Uh, like a purpley gray, more of a tan orange color. It's actually it's more orange. Then we have like a peachy orange color. More green. That's two of those. A yellow, green, green. Now what colors are those? So there, there's two greens that are that fairy dust. I haven't seen them yet unless I went by them and I didn't notice because the fairy dust ones are hard for me to see. To be honest with you, I don't see a huge difference with the fairy dust ones. But I haven't worked with them yet, so maybe that's why. Now, see this one here? This one right here. It's very concave there. Those are the ones that sometimes if you're not if you're putting it down and it's not sticking to the to the canvas, it's because there there's some that are concave or uh, really concave. So you just have to watch for that. All right, so what numbers were those? 993, 907. Okay, I didn't see them, but I wasn't. Hold on. All right, let's see. And more yellow, different yellow, blue, blue, two shades of green. Is that? Yep. Two shades of green, a different yellow, or green. I mean, of course, you're going to have a lot of green. Uh, blue, orange, that's pretty. There's, uh, there's another uh, AB drill, really pretty. I love their ABs. Um, blue, orange, uh, gray, 
Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, mauve color purple. Um, that's like a red, reddish color. And this is 992. Is this 9? Okay, 993 into 907. Okay, so that's not. All right. Let me see if I can find those. I think I've done them all. Let me see. They're green. This is why I can't stand how they do it because it's so hard to like actually find. Okay, we have this. We have one here, and it's marked with a Z. Can you see it? It's got like glitter on it. I'm not sure I like those. I honestly think I would prefer the AB drills over that. And let's see, what's the other one? Okay, Z907. So that's 907. <laughs> And, oh, the other one kind of a blue color. What do you want this? No. Hold on. I thought they were both green and not. I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay. I found it. I don't know if I showed you 907 or 993. Now I don't even know. So here's the 993, which is kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, aqua color. And then we have this one here. And it's hard to, t I don't really see much of a difference. Now, as far as the AB ones, we found, we found 132. Oh, I hate how they do this. Let's see. 141, which is white. Okay, so here's 141. Actually, that's the only one I don't think I showed you guys. 141, 132 is orange. And then like a um, greeny color. Where are they? Where is it? Um, yeah, I I wish they would. This is one thing I 100% wish they would change. Because it just makes it really, really tricky. Is this it? No, that's not it. Is it? Oh. No, that's the Z. Is that cool? Oh, no, it's an off-white color. I think I showed it to you guys, but now I don't even know where it is. All right, I found them all. We have the yellow, which is 129, the orange, 132, and the white, which is 141. Now, one thing about their drills, and I'm trying to get one that's going to give us a good amount of shine, is they are super sparkly. It's hard to tell because a lot of times you only see the back. It's the craziest thing with these drills. Their drills are amazing. You know, I mean, I like some of the cheaper companies, too, but their drills are truly, truly amazing. The sparkle is, honestly, I don't really think any other company really compares that well with it. Anyway, so that is Providence by the Sea by Chuck Penson. Oh, I meant, meant to do it that way. It's Providence by the Sea, Chuck Penson. It's absolutely stunning. I... We'll do this someday. <laughs> um, I almost wish I had not kitted up that last one and started on one of these because although that last one I'm working on is, is okay, the quality is not the same. The picture itself is fine. The picture is not a problem. It's the drills. I wish we could buy Diamond Art Club drills and use them on other canvases. <laughs> it would be awesome. And this is why I saved my drills because maybe I'll be able to at some point do another canvas with the Diamond Art Club, Club Diamond Art Club drills because the rendering is fine. The drills not so good. The drills, eh, they're okay, mediocre at best. Anyway, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. Take good care of yourselves. Blessings and thank you, and have a happy new year. Yay! Let's make it the best. Take care. I'm inserting this in here because I actually forgot <laughs> to show you guys this. <clears throat> but all of their kits, if you've never seen anything by Diamond Art Club, they all come with, these are all stickers. And you can use these to kit up your um, your bags, your containers, whatever. Like I, I put them on my bags because that's how I uh, kit up uh, along with my trays. But what I also do now is I take a picture of this. Because once you take them off here, you can't remember. And because I put washi tape on the canvas, sometimes I can't see everything very clearly. So that is what I do. It also it has this here where you add the date that you start and you finish. And it's got a really beautiful 
a picture of the um, the canvas that you're doing a really absolutely gorgeous picture of it usually which that's the original you know um like i said chuck penson's amazing and it also comes with this thank you thing and you it has like directions and you know a code in there to get you know um a discount and all that so yeah i just want to add that in there because i completely forgot and <laughs> i'm like oh my goodness losing my mind anyway all right you guys now I can say goodbye.